podcast episode 108 we got rapper goddamn hairstylist right you, you, I, I see, don't know. I see you do your hair and shit. Yeah, I know. I don't mind no hairstylist. <laughs> Goddamn uh, 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 hustler. Can I call mm-hmm. you hustler? Yeah, you can call me that. Yeah, yeah. We got, we got Punk in the building. What's good with Pumpkin. you? Punkin. How you feel? I feel good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. So we finally got you on the show. I know we was talking about, you know, coming on. I think you had said something on the freestyle I posted. And you was like, yeah, I freestyle too. Let me come on the show and mm-hmm. make it yeah. happen. Made it happen. Made it happen. Everything's smooth. <laughs> Everything's smooth though. Yeah, for sure. Just grinding, trying to do my music, trying to get it out there. For sure, for sure. Now we start off everything with a salute. Salute me while I'm here, you know, because niggas be waiting for people to pass away. Be like, mm-hmm. damn, I love Craig or or <laughs> Delisha or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But it can't be the normal people. It can't be mom, dad, brother, sister. If you got a dude or nothing like that, it gotta be somebody outside of that circle whatever so it could be a friend though yeah for sure yeah it just can't be that you know everybody say mom or pops or my kid or boo boo and shit like that it gotta be somebody outside so it could be a homie okay um shit salute to my friend k she y- y'all think i'm a hustler she a hustler for real i'm not for gonna sure. lie yeah. salute to her she really be doing her one too out here what's her name her, her name k yeah she do music or she just you just know, she be she be doing a little something. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. <laughs> She's starting to get in the booth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, did, you, did you make her or something she wanted to do? I didn't make her. It was something she wanted to do. Okay. Mm-hmm. And she not she... bad either. <laughs> right. <laughs> Edit. Blooper. <laughs> oh, fuck it. We good. We good. We good. So you say you want to salute K. Yeah, salute to K. That's what's up. Uh, shit. Man, I'm just going to salute black people. God damn it. Fuck I'm it. I'm dead. Thank you. It's 108 <laughs> motherfucking episodes. And I just be coming up with shit out the ass. So, yeah, I'm going to salute black people. Hey man, because uh, like I said, my uh, my uncle, said producer, uncle producer, he was at an event yesterday with a whole bunch of black uh, entrepreneurs and shit like that last night. So shout out to anybody that's starting something or doing something. Just keep doing that shit, man. Even if that shit looking bad right now, just you know, what I'm saying, stay motivated, stay grinded. Yeah, for sure. So how was your uh, how was your last year? How was last year? It's it's the beginning of twenty twenty two, but how was twenty twenty one? Was it a struggle? Was it good? Twenty twenty one, it was everything, like a mix of everything. Mm. I definitely went through some struggles in twenty twenty one, but uh, my main goal, like music, I really made some. You know, I was starting to put that work in and shit. <laughs> like I feel like people were starting to notice me a little bit more and shit. Yeah. Um, but I definitely went through some struggles. I had moved to Atlanta. Yeah. Stupid idea. Why? Why was that stupid shit? That's what everybody, everybody do that shit. Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) Everybody do that shit. I I didn't like it. I didn't like being in a city where everybody did what I do. Like, I meet people like, oh, I do music. Me too. Oh, yeah. (laughs) yeah, for sure. (sighs) Okay. I mean, that's cool. We gonna support each other. But damn, everybody do music. And I felt like, um, like out there, it was just, not even harder, but just, like, because everybody did it, it wasn't, yeah, like... separate yourself and shit. Yeah, like, it yeah. wasn't no surprise, no, oh, you, oh, shit, you rap? Like, yeah, yeah, nobody yeah. gives a fuck. Yeah, like, like, oh, shit, yeah, I do that shit, too. <laughs> <laughs> I was just recording last night. Like, right, like, exactly. Yeah, so, how long was you down there? Shit, like, six months. Oh, and shit. I came back. You I had an fuck. apartment and everything. I was like, yeah, I don't like this down here. And I just didn't, like, I don't know, the energy down there, yeah. it wasn't good. Like, you can go to a city and they have good energy, like... When yeah. I go to Miami, I mean, I know it's a hood everywhere and shit yeah, where sure. they Hell don't yeah. play, but like go to Miami or go to Cali, you know, it's just good energy. Like, it's fun. Like, you just want to go outside and shit. Yeah, like, in sure. Atlanta, I was just like, Damn. I mean, I could go outside if I want to turn up, but I just don't feel like dealing with the energy out yeah. there. Like, Damn, you first person here because motherfuckers be loving that shit. I mean, Atlanta cool. But I, I like, also used to live there when I was a kid, so okay, so you it wasn't like yeah, the hype nothing shit. totally yeah. new. Yeah, hell no. Nah. Yeah, well, shout out to the niggas in Atlanta. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, I, I like Atlanta just not to yeah. live. Yeah, what's some shit that you felt you needed to change, like, going to the new year? Like, man, I gotta... Fuck, I can't keep... I can't let Craig come to motherfucking 2022 with I'm me. I'm dead. Shit. You know what I'm um, saying? Coming into 2022, I felt like I just needed to really start to press and put the work in towards my music because I know... Mm-hmm. I'm capable of doing everything that I'm imagining, like sure. all my dreams and shit. Yeah. My life revolves around my music, so yeah, everything yeah. about to just yeah, yeah. <laughs> go straight back to my music. I already know. That's, that's how it's supposed to <laughs> like, be. Shit. You got, that's priority number one. Because yeah, you ain't no kids. Do you? Seriously, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you want kids? Like, well, sooner or later? Later, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you, you don't think you can handle that shit like doing music and having kids and shit like that? Not right now. I, yeah. I can barely, I barely want to get myself dressed in the morning. Yeah, like, let alone. I can't imagine yeah. getting somebody else ready every time I got to leave. Because like, I was telling my, uh, my, my, uh, my wife, I was her cousin, she ain't got no kids, but she be doing a lot for my kids. I'm like, mm-hmm. you don't never want kids? Like, and just kind of selfish and shit, though. <laughs> like, when you leave this earth and you ain't put out yeah. no little use, like. Yeah, I do feel like it's my, like, duty as a woman to, yeah. like, if I can, like, you know, make kids, like. Yeah. Yeah, Cause that can. is selfish Like for the women That like can't and shit yeah, Like yeah, yeah, yeah. why wouldn't I Man, It's crazy you say that shit My brother I, I never knew my brother wife Was upset that When I had my first son I was like 19 whatever mm-hmm. And she was mad Cause they was trying It was the age yeah. They was married Me I just didn't got My little high school girlfriend pregnant I ain't even <laughs> Didn't want even yeah. try like. <laughs> And then you're like Oh this nigga got, got a baby We trying yeah. like So I ain't know like I ain't know yeah. that she was low key kind of mad at me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I could understand why that would be hurtful. Like if I was trying, like, yeah. I mean, it's not your fault, obviously. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, still, like, I could understand as a woman why that would be like a thing. Like yeah, she like, wasn't mad at you. She just probably yeah, like this whole ass nigga got a kid. And shit. <laughs> <laughs> don't well, even need no kids. Don't even know what to do and shit. Like I can't even buy a drink legally and shit. Dog. That's funny as hell. Shout out to y'all. I ain't gonna put your name out there. <laughs> no, shout but, out to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> y'all got they got my they got my niece and shit, man. So you know, what I'm saying everything, everybody blessed. So uh. Talk about growing up, because I know you from Cleveland and mm-hmm. shit, dog, but you know what I'm saying? You've been in Detroit back and forth, whatever. Yeah. So talk about growing up, you know what I'm saying? How was, you know what I'm saying, Cleveland? Who was in the household? Shit like that. Um, Who was in the household? My mom. Yeah. And then my younger siblings when they came. I got a big gap. Like, I'm the oldest. Yeah. I'm not telling you but my <laughs> sister is my sister is 12. Okay. Just know that. Like, it's a big gap. So it was yeah. mostly me and my mom. Um, Growing up in Cleveland, it was straight. I'm somebody, I moved around a lot, so I done lived all over Cleveland. Yeah. Um, like I told you, I lived in Atlanta when I was a kid, too. Okay. Um, but, yeah, it was, I think Detroit and Cleveland is kind of similar. I was going to ask, like, what's the difference and what's the same? Hmm. Okay. Besides the same Harris, is, like, <laughs> you know, it's everybody on the come up. I feel like, I don't know. Uh, it's just... We kind of poor cities, like yeah, everybody, everybody, grinding, <laughs> everybody yeah. yeah, everybody trying to get their money, everybody trying to get their bread. Yeah. Um, the difference like, is what's some shit where you be out here like, yeah, in Cleveland we do this, y'all niggas on this, like. Um, that's hard. I see you was you was already clowning our downtown. I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> clowning y'all downtown. It's just like, okay, when I first had went downtown here, I'm like. Where's the downtown? Yeah. <laughs> where's, the, where's the tall buildings? Where's the? It's straight though. It's yeah. fun. It's yeah. stuff to do. But Cleveland, we definitely our city. It just the Cleveland downtown just look a little bit more downtown. It's like yeah. people shoot movies downtown in Cleveland. Like you know, yeah. like because I see big movies and you have posts like yeah, y'all about to see how the real downtown is because you know it's All Star Weekend. Swear, Cause I be hearing people be talking so much shit. I just yeah. be like, man, no, our city it look better downtown. Okay, yeah. I ain't gonna say the rest. Oh, of the <laughs> yeah, downtown. It look, it look good. Right. We yeah. we coming up though. We got a lot of shit down there coming up and shit. Like mm, they must know. still be building it. It's <laughs> <laughs> been a minute though, but it, no, no. I, I don't know if you was in downtown back in like the early like two thousand. Want to turn you off? Um, oh, yeah. I was like, oh, <laughs> no, I was. I didn't move here till uh, twenty sixteen. Twenty sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. See now, back in the day when I was like in high school, like night, like in early two thousand and shit like that. Yeah, it wasn't nothing down there. Like, you be on that bitch, you be scared. Yeah. Because there's dark alleys and shit, like... I bet. Yeah. 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 <laughs> real, real quick story about downtown. We can go, we can get to you. I remember I used to work downtown, and this nigga, it was um, this, like, this woman who had no legs. Mm-hmm. And she'd be in this wheelchair, and she was chasing behind me, like... Why are you laughing at that? <laughs> she, was, she was chasing behind me, like, I'll suck your dick, like... And yeah, she, I that's God, different. I was scared as hell. Like I'm like I'm running. Like damn, not you like, running for real, for real. But yeah, she was trying to get you. So uh, growing up, you say you, you know saying you bounced around a lot. Is your yeah. uh, your moms and your siblings mm-hmm. like what, was your pops around or it was like is he around now or like mm. you, you, some of y'all want to talk about? Dang, it's personal. <laughs> uh, if you don't talk not about really, it, he was um he was actually like incarcerated okay. for a lot of my childhood. Yeah, but. Even after that, not really. Mm-hmm. I see him though every once and again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that? Was you get a little emotional about sometimes? Share a third tear, whatever. Like you know, daddy <laughs> issues. Daddy issues a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, it's something that you. Because sometimes it can help or sometimes it can hurt. Low key. Yeah, it's straight. I don't take it personal. That nigga got twenty plus kids. <laughs> do you know? Do you know them kids? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Cause you don't want to be out here, man. Fuck around, date them. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I know it's kids no, for, for sure. Real. You yeah. got mostly girls too, so. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, because you hate to do a family reunion. You're like, God damn. Damn, <laughs> we were talking two years ago. Fuck. Yeah. Like, cousin Kenny? Like, <laughs> like, that's my cousin. No, that ain't never happened. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, in the household, we get our musical influences from our parents and shit. Like, mm -hmm. what's, some what's some people that you was liking just off what your mom was playing? Um, so let me start by saying this. My yeah. mom is a rapper, was a rapper. Right. So I did grow up around that. Um, yeah. I used to be in the studio with her, all that shit. Okay. But uh, she definitely got me into being a fan of like old school hip hop and yeah. stuff. Like just cause she used to play it and like hit me to stuff like even like Lil Kim. Like yeah, for sure. I really fuck with Lil Kim. I'm a part of the Nicki Minaj generation, but yeah, yeah. I really fuck with Lil Kim. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I like Nicki too, but I'm just saying. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, just all that stuff like. She or we'd be listening to something. She'd be like, "This a whole nother song type mm -hmm. shit." Like you know, yeah. she's who definitely gave me the music bug. Period. Like yeah. I didn't, I didn't start rapping until I was like twenty though. Okay. But so you it came that? easy to me, kind of. I feel like it was because of her, because yeah. I like I already. You know, I know what trash sound like. Like yeah. so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. I was able to like you know. Just write shit and make it go together and like you know. Was your mom your mom was cold? What's her rap name? China man, she had a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but China. All right. China, lovely. Yeah. Sabrina. Yeah. Her, yeah. her name. Yeah. Hell no, mom's <laughs> rapping. Uh, mom's yeah, rapping. that's why I was living in Atlanta when I was a kid. She oh, was she rapping. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cause I'm gonna say you said you moved around a lot. Cause you, was, I moved around a lot because we was poor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wasn't, you know what I'm saying? No, yeah, it was that too. Yeah. That's because I went to like a different school like every year till high school. Yeah, because like then we got to move again. Like, hell yeah, everybody get evicted. Like, <laughs> okay, like, I don't know about that. I don't put my mama shit out there like that. <laughs> but damn, <laughs> but I understand being yeah. a little gypsy kid. Like, damn, what the fuck? We, I just got cool with another little block. <laughs> right, I just made a best friend. Yeah, that's, that's the hardest <laughs> shit going to another block. Then you looking like, man, god yeah. damn. Like, I got to make sure these niggas cool and shit, though. Not make sure these niggas cool. Like, I, I wasn't worried about no block shit. I was just worried about going to a different school every year. Like, yeah. uh, I got to find new friends, find new people that relate to me. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So I was a little awkward ass child. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't super awkward. I, I'm not going to say that. Yeah, but I you wasn't. was a little bit. I was just different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, 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 different how? Like, you give a fuck about, like, you wasn't playing no toys or nothing like that? You was on some grown shit at early yeah, age? Not even that. <laughs> it's just like, okay, most of the time I told you, like, I lived in the hood a lot, so I just... My mom, she didn't play that shit, so I wasn't really into everything that yeah. everybody was doing. Like, yeah, for sure, for sure. So I just was. You was out there playing tag and shit. Like. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Who wants to play hide and go see? Yeah, they yeah. trying to go to some niggas' houses and shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, hide, get me. Like, come get me. Like, <laughs> right, that game. <laughs> like, where's she at? Oh shit, she in crib bed. Like, <laughs> right. <laughs> like, go find her and shit. You might go ahead. You might get some luck too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, um, everybody got a favorite rapper. Like, of course, uh -oh. you know what I'm saying. Who's your first favorite rapper though? Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, of course, niggas be like, oh, yeah, Jay-Z, nah. It's like, but... Right, you, that's what I say as a default. Yeah, I'm a Libra, young, so I'm, like, indecisive. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when I was young... Yeah, 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 your first one. Like, like as a kid? Uh-huh. Like, shit, I, the first song I can remember, like, always just singing was a song by 50 Cent, yeah. that Mini Man song. Oh, yeah, hell yeah, I remember hell my yeah. mom used to be cracking up at me when I was singing that shit, like... Yeah, I'm old, dog. Uh, because, shit, when you was a kid, when me, when... when, after, <laughs> when after, I was, like, six. <laughs> So you, when that shit came out, I was I was going to my 12th grade year. Oh shit! I'm 30. I'm 35. Okay. So yeah, I'm. I'm hey, that's fucked up. Why are you about to come on show you older, I'm younger than me, dog? Like, she's talking about mini me. I'm in mean, like. I'm like shit. I was a kid, you know. I, I had on a, I had on a G unit white beard. Right, you was really yeah. Yeah, I remember just because that was like that had to be like what oh three, oh two. So around that time I was like, yeah, I was in eleventh grade. Yeah, so, yeah three, I, I was six, oh twelve, yeah, I was five. Uh huh. <laughs> Damn, my motherfucking son, fifteen. I said I wasn't gonna say my age, and I done basically said it. Y'all do the math. Y'all like, do the math. Yeah, you young them mother though. Shit. <laughs> so you born what ninety seven? Yeah. Hey, I'm quick with them. I'm quick with the numbers. <laughs> I'm quick with the numbers. No, nah, I'm done saying my age. I'm about to be a celebrity soon. I can't say my age no more. Man, you young than mother. You can't. You I'm, I'm it, stopped already. I'm 21 forever now. Man. You, I'm 21. Close to shit. Uh, it's God never damn. changing. Man, I wish I was. I wish I was back then, man. I wish I was. A little bit. Just a little bit. If, He's talking about I don't. Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit. Now, uh, give me a song or an album. Every time you hear it, you think about a time in your life. Like, damn, I remember I was doing this. Or I remember I was here. You know what I'm saying? 
Okay, so this not a good thing, yeah. but <laughs> that one, that Roddy Rich album, you know, yeah. the one with the she wanna do lean, she wanna go team, all yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. That album makes me think about a breakup. Uh-huh. I hate that album. Damn. I love that album, yeah. but now I just be skipping that shit because I'll be like, damn, I was going through a skip. Talk, talk about the breakup though. Skip. Like, Why? Like, 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 <laughs> like, did it break out because you you messed up? He messed um, up? Um, no. I just decided to end it because I didn't see it going anywhere. Mm-hmm. But it was like, it was just, we was living together and shit. Like, yeah. it was just a lot going on. But, yeah, I definitely, I ended that because I felt like we wasn't going nowhere. And then it just felt like yeah. being in a marriage. Yeah. But, like, we've been married for, like, a long time. Like, it was, just, sure. it was just getting old. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm young. Yeah, so, who I was just. Who cried? Yeah, who cried when y'all broke up? You know you get that last little conversation like, you know what? I ain't gonna cap. <laughs> I didn't cry. He cried, though. He might have. Uh, yeah. Well, he... Uh, I, ain't, <laughs> I ain't gonna do him like that. I, that's... It's all good. <laughs> I ain't gonna do him like it's that. All, it's, all, it's okay, Larry. Uh, but I didn't cry. I didn't cry for a long-ass time. Like, because yeah. I, knew, I knew in my mind, like, this was the right decision. Like, I'm tired of arguing every day. What the yeah. fuck? Like, Hell I don't yeah. need to be doing that. And y'all probably was arguing about some dumb shit, too. For real? Dumb ass shit. Going out of town. Arguing every yeah. day out of town on vacation. Like, no, that's yeah. not right. But... It made sense, because after a couple months, he called me. He was like, yeah, you was right. Yeah, I yeah, know. yeah. I was crying shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, was y'all, what, y'all, what was y'all living at? Detroit, Cleveland? What, what? No, we stayed out where I uh, live now, like out in, okay. you know, oh, in our yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I don't want anybody to come out there and be like, yeah. For I'm, real? You know, I'm a, you know I'm a celebrity. Knocking on your door and shit, like, what up? <laughs> yeah, so, shit, man. So you say you was, that, that CD make you think about your whole breakup and stuff like that? You getting your emotional Bro, bad. yes. You know I saying? can't stand it. Do you be it. thinking about now, like, damn. If he would have did this or if I would have did this, we'd still be together. Mm, you know, actually, yeah. I just think I just think the time was wrong, really. Like, yeah. He was a good guy. He yeah, for sure. He didn't, like, I wasn't getting stepped on or nothing like yeah, that. Yeah, it I wasn't fighting wasn't right. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the thing. It's funny because my little brother, I ain't going to put his, his information out there, but when you're young... <laughs> You, it's like for some reason you get into those altercations with y'all, y'all fighting, y'all scratching each other, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but it was never, he never started it. Yeah. I will say that. So you crazy? No, <laughs> I'm just emotional. Okay. And like when I feel like you're not getting what the fuck I'm saying, it's like making me even more mad. So. Oh shit! See that's. But I'm working on that because yeah, I don't want to be like to. that. Because I'll run across the wrong nigga and he really beat me up or some <laughs> shit. Like, I don't want that. Like, yeah. he never, like, he never, like, beat me up or nothing. Yeah, for sure, for sure. It was always Oh, me. you beat him up. Yeah, yeah basically. He would grab you, know, I'd be like, all right, bitch, that's enough. Yeah, yeah. I'll find you in this relationship. You got to make sure you can go in that mother with right hand space. Like, I, man, I just be needing to get that little anger out real quick. I remember one time we had gotten a fight. <laughs> I like I like swung on him and shit and he was about to go to his mom house but before he left I was like I swung on him and shit like this See, not good this yeah, not, no, good. not good I don't want to do this somewhere <laughs> but I was just so mad we was fighting and shit he grabbed me put me down whatever then he was about to leave so then I seen him in the car I heard he put my shit on like I'm coming too damn yeah, chase the car <laughs> I didn't even give a fuck I was like I'm not even mad no more I'm coming no, too he think- was mad the whole ride to his mama house I'm over there Duh. just laughing and shit taking um videos on Instagram man but <laughs> <laughs> I'm completely over the situation already but no that be a young shit though I'm telling you because we all been through it being some young dumbass relationships and shit dog y'all know how to express it. y'all anger or whatever yeah. it's a, that's when you brought motherfucking mess around call him a bitch and he like oh shit I ain't no bitch you a bitch man no nah, I don't even do that like yeah. I don't that word powerful for real. it to niggas yeah like that's why I don't even I don't be playing like you that like about- I said said to the wrong nigga like yeah. I know I can't beat no man up yeah. I'm not even about to really try for real yeah. but see what make girls even more mad is when you just laugh at them I'm learning that you're not like I've been in a relationship. Yeah, that'll and they get, get mad. you hit. <laughs> <laughs> that'll like, get you hit. You're crazy. Sure. Cause like my, my my wife is real small. Like mm-hmm. she's about five foot. And one time I she was just like, We got we we don't never get, get to no argument, but this one particular time, she just cussed at me like a motherfucker. I was just laughing, like, dog, this shit is funny. And I made, I made her super mad. She just we ain't fight. Went off on y'all. No, ass. she was like, All right, I'm about to take a drive. <laughs> Like, that's one thing, like, we... I'm about, about to take a try. Yeah, because I ain't about to fight nobody, With you, down by the lake. Yeah, I, I, ain't about to, <laughs> I ain't about to fight nobody, dog. And like I said, I can't be that... That That's that That's that shit I, I went through at a young age, and you just be like, dog, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. Like, we ain't just been scratching each other. I got a motherfucking scar on my neck and shit, like... That's what I'm saying, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. you know, shout out to Larry, though. Y'all, y'all, y'all had a good relationship. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Larry. <laughs> we did, we did. Yeah, now, um... <laughs> What's, what's some silly shit that you wanted to do or be that you never told nobody or you never tried? 
Like everybody got some old shit. Like, um, like I want to tap dance and shit. That's not silly. You want to tap dance? You want to tap yeah. dance? If that's the case, I wanted to be an ice skater. Like that's not silly. <laughs> you know that's skate? just some shit. No. Oh shit! <laughs> I took a class for yeah. a, a couple days, but yeah. I told you we'd be moving around. For sure, I moved. For sure. I had to leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, no, ice skating. That shit just always seems scary, though. Like skating. Ice skating. Mm. Oh, on That's like hard. that little blade. No, it's yeah. the same. As, it's just like you literally you can walk on the skates. Like it's not that hard. I should yeah. pick that up again. Thank you for reminding me. I wanted yeah. to do that. Yeah, you, you never know. That's what happens. You come on this show. You find out stuff you love. And you want to get back to it. What? Larry, yeah, that's what happens when you come on this she, she show. She gonna call Larry like Larry. You know what? Right. I've been thinking. <laughs> I realized I was fucking up. Like, it was me. Let's make this shit work and shit, dog. <laughs> now, uh, yo, 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 you, you rapping. You said you mm-hmm. didn't decide you wanted to rap until you got older and shit. Yeah, at, at twenty. So like that was never in your thought process as a as a youngin. I mean, as a youngin, I would like be writing raps and shit, but. Yeah. As a youngin, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Really. I was gonna say, yeah, what you wanted to do as a youngin, like you was just out there. Like, I can't even remember what my goal was, like in high school, what yeah. I wanted to. I, can't, I don't know. I probably just said some dumb shit, like <laughs> didn't even care, yeah. like whatever. Like, what I knew I wanted to be like a business owner. That is, I am very business. Yeah. Um, damn, I just had a big word in my head. Yeah, I, was I had two. I forgot. Like, I was gonna say, I was business gonna correct you. I want oh, oriented. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, God, I was yeah. gonna fuck that shit all up, <laughs> like oriental. Like, you want to be business. <laughs> She want to be business oriented. I'm very business oriented. Yeah. God damn, we drunk as hell or some shit. And, uh, Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> but, no. um, yeah, like, even when I did go to college, I went to Eastern Michigan. Okay. I went for, first I went for business entrepreneurship, and then I had switched my major to um hotel and restaurant management. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Yeah, so you wasn't yeah, so you said fuck the business oriental, you like fuck I'm about to start rapping. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, that's still gonna still whatever, yeah, yeah, that's still gonna lead me to doing what I wanna do. Oh, so you business. went to college and shit? Yeah, yeah. don't yeah. ask no more questions. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying like 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 did you go to college because you wanted to or you felt like it was because of the right thing to do? Because I went to college went, for two days. Man, tell me about it. <laughs> I went because I wanted to, and mm. I went for the experience. Yeah. But when I got there, I realized I'm not somebody that yeah. Like, I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing to get the experience. I was just going to class and going to my dorm. Hell yeah. Like, I wasn't, I didn't give a fuck about the parties. I wasn't trying to join no groups and yeah, shit. Yeah, like, for sure. in my mind, I should have, like, I was, I don't know why I wasn't doing that, but yeah. I had, like, this movie in my head. Like, I should have been doing that. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. to, you know, get the full effect, but yeah. I wasn't into that. Like, yeah, I, I didn't get defended at all. I went to a little drink college and. Man. Like I said, I had baby on the way. I'm like, man, fuck. I can't, I can't <laughs> yeah. do this shit no more. Yeah, I was just going to class and going to my dorm. Like, I wasn't doing nothing. If somebody invited me to a party, um, okay, I'll go. I remember the first party, I walked out in five minutes. It was hot as fuck in there. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not with that. It was too hot. You see, I'm in here. Yeah, I'm in here, bitch. I feel bad. Let me shit. turn the heat on real quick. And I'm usually cold. Like, I'm usually, yeah. my hands are cold. But yeah. I don't know, it's, but it's hot in here, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It means shit, man. It's a hot-ass podcast. You feel me? Best podcast yeah. in the city. <laughs> Voice of Detroit. You keep this up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I, you <laughs> okay, got, you yeah. Know what I'm saying? That's how you got to be and shit, for real. But it, it's true, though. These niggas will be doing this, these podcasts, they trash and shit. You'll see. Because once you leave this one, I guarantee you, you people going to be like, oh, you want to get my show? Mm-hmm. That's how I be. That's how I be. I can't wait. You that's, why, that's why I can't yeah, wait. Yeah, make, you already know. Yeah, blessings. Blessings on blessings. So, uh, you say 20, <laughs> you want to do this shit like, it just like, because what, what, what hit you? Like, all right, I'm going to do this shit, go full time with it. Like, so, um... Oh, I keep having to talk about my ex. One of my ex's <laughs> friends, yeah. he was he's a rapper. Yeah. So I can't remember how it went, but I ended up doing a song with him, like mm-hmm. and then that shit was it was heat to me at the time. Mm-hmm. I mean now it's a little corny. <laughs> but it's still it no, it's still good. It's yeah. still better than what some motherfuckers be out here doing. For sure. But it was good. And then I like the energy of being in a studio. So yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. I want to keep doing this. This this fun to me. I like being in the studio. And then yeah. it's just like you expressing yourself or whatever, just having fun, being a character in the booth. Like, mm-hmm. I was fucking with it. So then I just kept making music. Yeah. And then once I realized I was actually good, that's when I was like, okay, let's take this serious. For sure. Which was like last year. Yeah. So... That's when you say I'm on my shit now. Yeah, for yeah, real. You be put, you be putting I be addressing show. myself like as a rapper. Like people ask you what you do. I rap. I'm a rapper. I mean, you gotta put that out there. Hell yeah, that's what you is. That's what mm-hmm. you doing. No, and this ain't no hobby. Like this is what for I do. For real, this is what I do. Yeah, you gotta speak that shit. Like, cause if you if you downplaying what you do, then shit, ain't nobody gonna take you serious. Right. You know what I'm saying? Wise words from Shud. But uh, <laughs> your name Pumpkin. 
Tell me how you, how, you get, how, you, how you get the rap name and what was the rap name? You said country as hell. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> yeah, yo, you know I know some pumpkins. And pumpkin. Bitches. Pumpkin. <laughs> but how you get how you um get your rap name and what was some trash names you had before that that didn't make the cut? Okay, so pumpkin. Okay, I don't like telling people I got my name because it's kind of basic. Like my mom used to call me pumpkin, okay, but nice. everybody else's mom called him pumpkin. So yeah, what yeah, fucking yeah, difference yeah. would it make? Like, but <laughs> <laughs> I just added that so little you, extra in on the end yeah, of it for a little spice. Say, yeah, a little pumpkin <laughs> spice. Yeah, but um before that. My first rap name was <laughs> Griselda. Okay, why, why that? <laughs> like Griselda. Oh, yeah. Hell <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It'd be funny when niggas come with names. It'd be no, no type of shit. <laughs> Didn't sell no bricks. Talk about some <laughs> Griselda. <laughs> Hell no, you in that mug again. Why you call you Brazil? Oh, I got the For real. Um, and then I had just changed it to my real name, which is Sabria. Yeah, Sabria. Um, yeah, and then I came with Pumpkin because Sabria, I like my name. Everybody's like, yeah, I like that. But it's just, yeah. it sounds sweet. And it's like, everybody, they be like, oh, your name's so pretty. I yeah. know. But then I, do, I don't want, I don't want everybody knowing my name when I'm a celebrity. Like, I want to, yeah. well, they're going to know my name. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You yeah. know what I mean? I don't want them just calling me like, Sabria, Sabria. Yeah, like, yeah. like I want my family and friends to call me Sabria. Like, yeah. I want people that really know me to be calling me Sabria or for Bria. Sure. Like, yeah, 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 for sure. Hell yeah. That's that's shit dope. Yeah, like, yeah. I gotta make sure I say Pumpkin. Mm-hmm, now, pumpkin. <laughs> or you could call me Big Pump. Oh, I don't know if I should be saying that. Like, what you mean? Everybody be like that. Yeah, Everybody be like, what's up, right, Big Pump? But it's alright for me, though. Like, I don't know. It just don't sound right coming for me. And we just got to talk about some shit, though, before you came here. It's funny that you say. We just talking about things that you shouldn't do before y'all about to get down. You and your lady. I, mean, I, I don't know why I put this with the I can't be calling you pump bit pump but it's like <laughs> one thing I told this nigga that you can't do you can't have a woman you can't have a woman take off your drawers I'm just thinking about how you gotta arch your back up like go ahead oh, take, take, like, go ahead, take it off like, no, so, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I just put <laughs> I have never heard yeah. that yeah but why would man take my drawers off? You arch your back up, you move your legs. Like, no, no, that seems too. I guess. You know what I hate? I hate watching niggas come out of skinny jeans. <laughs> or have to put them bitches back on after we done. Like, no, you was, jumping more than me when I no, put my pants on. Both y'all niggas look like squeeze ketchup packs and shit. Man, like, <laughs> like damn, I hate that. No, I would be so happy when big pants come back in style. See, no, it can't be too. Like, just, <laughs> just get your size, bro. Like, these niggas be going under size. squeezing and yeah. like, jumping and shit. I'll be like, and don't look uh, like, let me just turn let me just get on my phone it's don't yeah i never I go never, to the bathroom yeah, please i never understood that shit like niggas with the with all right fat niggas who wear the super small tees and the, like you know what i'm saying bro, like, they be getting the skinniest jeans because you know them them kind of jeans don't even be coming in they yeah, yeah, that's just it. get a pants that fit you like yeah, it's fine like yeah. you don't have to be a merry down like yeah. they, if they don't if they don't make shit for you they don't support you yeah for sure so find some pants or, brands that support yeah, you yeah just hit the gym and shit that's all like hey, whatever yeah, yeah I lose guess. Weight, nigga, if you want to no jeans I, yeah I guess yeah, they pay, they be forcing that shit walking around <laughs> stiff as fuck like yeah yeah like mm-hmm. that's how you know you gonna beat their ass in a fight cause if you do a quick move yeah, they gonna they can't they. even they can't even get their stance together <laughs> Hey man, stop wearing them tight ass jeans, y'all man. Please. Get y'all shit together, man. Let y'all Please. shit breathe, man. The women oh. don't like watching you jump up and down just to put them on. Man, that shit. Bet you have to either. wiggle all around just to put them on. <laughs> Bet you have to lay back on the bed just to zip them up. <laughs> yeah, so but, yeah. She say dudes don't be wearing no tight jeans and women don't take off a nigga drawers, man. And make I ain't say that. I I said that. Yeah. I don't ain't take never. My don't take my drawers off. I'm trying to. I'll take my own drawers <laughs> off, like. Right. I don't know. I guess niggas be thirsty. They are. They had they shit off soon as they walked in the door. I mean, she, <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> like I'm ready, <laughs> right? No, wait. Like, when you come over here, I come and serve dick and just like, <laughs> right? Like, what shit. you doing, shit? You see what it is? That's funny as hell. Now, um, <laughs> we talk about your name and shit. Like, is that coffee there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was wondering because I was about to say I want. I, I would have sipped something with a bottle of drink, drink. Yeah, but. you got some more drink drink. All these glasses empty. <laughs> Hell yeah, we're... okay. This this is um a little drink. What's your what's your choice of drink? What you eat? I drink whatever, but mm-hmm. when I okay, so I'm a I told y'all I'm a Libra, so I am super indecisive. I don't know if that have anything to do with it, but it go <laughs> it does go together. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just be like, whatever the fucking person yeah. I'm with, won't well, I'm okay. Like yeah. I don't give a fuck what it is. Really. Yeah, as long it. as it's not vanilla crown. 
or that should be good as hell. That vanilla, you talking the, about mm. yeah. during the pandemic when the pandemic first hit and I was at home a lot. I was drinking motherfucking crown vanilla like a motherfucker. I can't take the vanilla. That and shit. so it tastes so good that you be drunk. Like, Damn, I'm drunk. It don't taste so good. Fuck out Get the shit. apple, please. The apple is all right, but the vanilla, the vanilla, be, the vanilla, that's that should be, nasty. That should be straight. I, I can't drink Hennessy no more either. Oh, no, I, I used to drink Hennessy. That used to be my choice, but yeah. now that shit is foul. Yeah, it's that, like super strong. Yeah. Like, and Hennessy just like one of those things that you think you graduated, so you're like, bam, I'm got the Hennessy. But once you really start tasting that, that shit terrible. Yeah. That shit terrible. Fuck that Hennessy Mm-mm. shit. Yeah, I'm off time. I'm drinking. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, tell me about the first song you wrote, like, and, and, like, like when your first time in the studio. Like, was it was it dope? Was um, it whack? Was it yeah. Trail? My first time in the studio was dope. Okay. <laughs> uh, when I first walked in, there was a bunch of niggas in there, and I was thinking, "Oh my god, I'm yeah, scared, I can't." Yeah, yeah. yeah, but then they all left, so I'm like, "Okay, yeah, it's only about <laughs> three people in here. I, yeah. I guess I could do this." Yeah. But um, I know I was nervous still because if I listen to that shit now, like you can hear it nervous. Yes, yeah. and my voice all squeaky and shit. Like, <laughs> not just playing. <laughs> my voice all squeaky. I'm just like this. I don't even sound confident. But then I remember after going to the studio like so many times. Each time I tell myself, okay, if you want this to sound how you really want it to sound and how the fuck you were saying it at the house, yeah, you can't sure. be nervous. You yeah. got to say that shit how you were saying it there, like. You, you just gotta do it and whatever like you can't care about what people think that's something that I do like about rap like I feel like it has grown my confidence mm-hmm. um I don't care what people think anymore like well, it you just, can't. Yeah, yeah you can't you really can't you yeah. just gotta do what you do be yourself and just whatever and then it's like after so many people are fucking with you yeah. they, they give like, you a little big yeah, head yeah, a little yeah, bit I'm good right yeah, yeah. fuck I know that was good yeah for sure for sure <laughs> the wackest verse in the world <laughs> I mean, some, fire. Yeah, yeah, but you know, sometimes I mean, sometimes shit gonna sound good, sometimes shit gonna sound bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it just you gotta grow with that shit though. Like, mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And what's some shit that you gotta have in the studio? You gotta have, you know, say some weed, some drink, some people, some friends. Uh. By yourself, like what's what's some shit you gotta? Have? Okay, I feel like I don't have to have anything. Yeah. But my lyrics ready. Yeah. But um, aside from that, I prefer to have a little drink or something for when I'm doing the ad libs, make them a little bit more fun. For sure, for sure. Um, I do like friends in the studio. Yeah. Just because you know my friends be there, they they take good videos of you and shit, like behind the scenes <laughs> yeah, yeah. actions and shit, for sure, yeah, hype yeah. you up a little bit. For sure, need that. Um, yeah. So yeah. yeah, a little bit of liquor. Yeah. Couple yeah. of friends. That yeah. that's what I prefer in the studio. And everything's for sure. straight. Everything's yeah, straight. Good energy in the studio for uh, sure. Speaking of friends, who can keep it real with you about your music? Like, you know what? That shit that shit wasn't there or you know what that shit was hard, like you gonna take that criticism and um, not take it personal. I feel like if any of my friends say something like that, I'm not gonna take it personal. Yeah. But uh I mentioned her earlier. Okay, she'd tell me. But yeah. I don't I don't get that a lot. She be fucking with all my shit. <laughs> like I don't I don't. I don't ever feel like I just went in the booth and made no trash. Like, yeah, for sure. So, yeah, yeah. shit. I don't know. Yeah. I guess I had to see when that happened. Like, she'd be like, "No, yeah, yeah, this yeah. ain't it." She'd tell me I like this verse better than it. Like, if I do a couple songs, I like this song better than this one or something. Yeah. But it ain't never like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. I ain't never got that really. Yeah. Now, now, once you, you know, what I'm saying, once you make it big, cause we always, you know, we speak things to the fuck listeners. everybody. Hell yeah. No, I'm just playing. So you gonna be worried about comments, <laughs> like, cause. Like damn, this is the motherfucker said my shit. You know niggas are hate. Nigga, niggas Tupac could come back. Tupac could come back right now. Niggas be in the comments like this shit trash. Man, that nigga been dead for twenty some years. Like, right, he ain't got it no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so would that be would that be something that fuck with you? Like you, like, you know what? I don't need to. Um, I can post my shit, but I don't need to be reading through all the comments. Yeah, and shit. that's how I'm gonna be. I don't want to read through the comments. I don't care. One, I don't care. Yeah. Two, it's just like. I know I know people just get on the internet just to be negative. Like people have whole ass fake pages just Hell to be yeah, negative. For sure, for just sure. to post negative shit. They fuck with you but they just say this to try and get a rise out of you type shit. Like, mm-hmm. oh, this person responded to me. Let me keep fucking with them and shit. Hell yeah, I'm So hype. I'm not even about to be on that. Like I don't care. Like now even if I get my shit posted on the Detroit rap news, I look through the comments and I just be like, mm, niggas hating. But I yeah. get so much love that I don't care about it. Like Yeah, yeah for sure. It's, it's it's way more love than hate, I tell you that. Yeah, yeah, but you gonna have that you and sometimes you want it, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, fuck it. Let me get a little cup of hate right here. Yeah, shit. I be looking at shit. Somebody told me don't respond. I be telling Kay, like, write, write to this nigga yeah. real quick. <laughs> you and that bitch, she be like, like, okay. 
And she coming with the hardest shit to say to somebody. Hell yeah, you can say everybody out. For real. Nah. But I don't be, I don't be stressing. I don't, yeah, whatever. Can, yeah, yeah. I, and I be saying shit sometimes. I will be like, man, what this whole ass nigga say this? Like, but I gotta be, you know, I can't be like that though. Yeah. Niggas gonna say some whole shit. Anyway, niggas like, regardless, is you can be in that mother nigga uh, being a top sewer and shit. Niggas gonna hate on your sewing skills. Like, definitely, man, you ain't no good sewer. Like, not the top sewer. <laughs> That's the first thing you thought of. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> you want to be a seamstress? Hell yeah, yeah. I wish I could sew some shit real quick. That was that shot there. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it, fuck it. Now uh, you said last year you took this shit serious for real, for real. Like, you dropped two projects in September. You dropped uh, Still the Man, mm-hmm. and in February you dropped She Goat. So mm-hmm. uh, did, do you feel like those projects got the love it deserved or like is, you still I growing? think they need more love, but yeah. I'm going to be re- like, once I keep growing, I am going to bring them back out. Like, yeah, yeah I dropped these too. Make sure y'all check them yeah, out. For sure. They definitely need more love, but I do think they, they, for where I'm at right now, I think they did good, especially yeah. still the man. Like I really, I really think they did good. Like I know people listening to it. I love when I'm going on Instagram and like looking through people's stories and then I just randomly see people listening to my shit yeah, like that. Sure. Hell yeah. But, um, uh, they did good. What made you come up with that title, Still the Man shit? Still the Man. Yeah. Um, I was going through a bunch of different um titles, but Still the Man, I had a song called Still the Man. Hi, I'm yeah. that bitch, but I'm still the man. Like, yeah, so yeah. I just was like, fuck, fuck it. it. That's Ride it. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Now talk about your, I do top three. You you, you know what I'm saying? Oh, so Lord. from Still the Man, my top three tracks is Still the Man, the mm-hmm. first track, Dr. Evil and Porn Star. Mm-hmm. What's, your, what's your top three on that one? Um, uh, see, I hate that. Y'all sleeping on Greek Freak. Y'all is sleeping <laughs> on Greek Freak. Fuck. That's why I say, hey, it's mine. It's mine. I guess. <laughs> but, um, definitely Greek Freak, yeah. still the man, and out here tripping. Okay, okay. I like this. I like somebody, too. Somebody, yeah. Oh, yeah. see, I can't choose, because I yeah, like somebody, like, yeah. too. Hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, uh, we got this one segment called Talk About the Bars. I take a piece of a bar off your song. We talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah. So, on Dr. Evil, oh, God. you put down, uh, no, you can't have my number, you the brokers in the crew. So, you can't, is it, is it, you can't fuck with niggas who get, like, like, damn, this nigga broke as hell, this nigga on fries and shit, like, do niggas gotta be in a, <laughs> on a certain level to fuck with you and get your attention and shit? Um, or do you see, like, he on fries, but he got potential, he dropped a mistake, nigga, <laughs> like, he this, he that, or like, I'm dead. fuck you, I, I, I fuck with vibes. Yeah. I mean, I get, you can't, I don't want no, like, nobody that's broke as hell like mm-hmm. but i fuck with vibes well the main okay the issue is not that you're broke the issue yeah. is that i know you're broke so we're not about to be doing nothing yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's nothing to do we don't have no money <laughs> like that's 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 yeah. the issue but that's really the issue like it's nothing to do and you can't you, do nothing netflix you can't go and nowhere. Chill and no have some cooking you got netflix <laughs> he paid Netflix fifteen dollars now. Yeah, that shit was not. <laughs> my shit, fuck it. I, I got fire sticks. So I don't. Have <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to Netflix yeah. and chill. I'm not trying to like. I need a couple dates or something. Yeah, like take me out and shit. Yeah. What's a like, good first date for you and shit like? Um, a good first date. Is the movies movie. is, is terrible. I was just about to say the movies because you oh, don't gotta no. talk too much. You know? See, but that's I okay. hate that. I you hate like talking? it's just it's an awkward conversation. Like if I literally don't know them and they just yeah. want to go on a date, like movies, a good first date, a good funny movie. Like so, yeah. we can, I laugh at the same shit. So if we yeah. think the same shit funny, you know. <laughs> what the nigga laughing? It's funny as hell. You and that bitch. Like nigga breaking a smile laugh like, ah! and I'm just like, 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 like this nigga ain't like, <laughs> <laughs> like what the fuck wrong I with this think, nigga I think movies is a good first day I don't yeah. cause I don't all that talking and shit I yeah. don't like that if I don't know you for real like oh, let's shit. just chill for a little bit at the movies but you know a yeah, nice yeah. little dinner date it that's cool to too just bring me a couple drinks first yeah. cause then I'm gonna do all the talking like for you sure. don't even gotta worry about it <laughs> <laughs> now on, your, uh, on, on She Go you got a song called 15 out of 10 yeah, and you said they only care about your dreams when you when that shit turned true. Mm-hmm. So do you feel like that? Like like niggas ain't gonna give don't give a fuck about what you're doing now, but once you become that yeah. motherfucker, they're gonna be like, damn, punk definitely. You. you know, people start to support you when you already made it. Yeah. Like <laughs> like nigga, I don't even need that no more. Yeah, like, you yeah. don't gotta post me now, shit. Everybody else posts me, yeah. but I definitely feel like that. Like they don't start to see you till you really start doing what you said you was gonna do. Mm-hmm. Um, and then a lot of people are like dream killers so yeah, they can't I'm even they don't even see your dream yeah so it's like whatever yeah. like she posting this shit all day but girl yeah. that ain't doing shit but once you start to get recognition from other people like other big people or yeah, like whatever shit. your numbers start going up and shit they gonna be like okay i'm fucking with you you know yeah. like no you're not <laughs> you. do you got a list like like all right if these niggas better not say shit like 
Like, I do. I can't say no names. No, no, I, but I, want I do. You to. I do yeah. definitely. I can't yeah. wait. I, you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just wait for that. Yeah, you gonna wait till that shit yeah, happens. Yeah, I can't let niggas know. Cause they could be having a list like, all right, bet you ain't post my shit. Uh, I swear to God, I don't be trying to take that shit to heart, but I, I have to. I take it to heart. Especially Cause when it's nothing to people. share somebody. Yeah, it's nothing to share somebody post, share somebody music like, and then it's like, okay, so I had a friend one time. I can't remember how we got on the subject, but she was just like, um, yeah, if people don't really like it, like, speaking about friends and yeah, shit, like, then sure. why would they, like, share it and shit? Yeah. But the point of you sharing it is not because you like yeah, it. It's, it's somebody yeah. that might like it. Exactly, like, exactly. you never know who gonna see my shit yeah. and really start fucking with me and be a fan, you exactly. know? So that's what it's all about, like, it's Instagram. Like, yeah. I'm not asking you to stand outside with yeah, no fucking... Yeah, sound yeah shit. I'm not asking you to go <laughs> sell my CDs, like... Yeah. Like I'm not asking for all that. No, but you that's just... a fact. But that's a fact. My cousin said that shit. Like you never know, like who might fuck. Cause, cause he be sharing people shit. Niggas might females might be doing nails. He ain't yeah. got like, his nails done, but you know females yeah, on the exactly. page might exactly. fuck around. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it, it, it might not be for you, but somebody else might rock with it and shit. So I'm being right. last nigga. Right, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Now, uh, on on lemonade, on that's that's uh on um. Ooh, I hate that song. I like, I like you shit. I like that shit. You I say uh, it's a few that turned their back. It kind of hurt me. Who turned their back to hurt you, uh, pumpkin? Man, that shit just rhymed. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know, some, I know somebody hurt you and shit. I mean, Who hurt you, man? I guess. Talk, 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 talk. Nobody ever really okay. turned their back for, I mean, yeah. I guess. Tell me, man. No, <laughs> you trying to get personal. He's trying to get people to cry yeah. on this stuff. Like, <laughs> like, you know what? Man, you know what he did with right him. Uh, Auntie Cheryl. <laughs> Auntie Cheryl. <laughs> no, I, it's not the Auntie Cheryl's. Yeah, it's some people that, like, I feel like they, I don't know. And we just wasn't uh, seeing eye to eye. Yeah. So it's just, they said, fuck it. Okay. And I was like, okay, fuck it. Now, we going to get out the personal stuff and get to some funny shit. Because, like I said, I could tell you, when you say Lil' Kim is a person you fuck with, I could tell mm-hmm. she influenced you a little bit by mm-hmm. some of the things you say. Yeah. So I'm still a man, you say, you ain't really fucking if that ass ain't clapping. <laughs> like, I knew you were going to say some shit like that. You know what that. I'm saying? Okay, what? 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 So talk about it. Like, <laughs> so talk about it. Like, like when you, do you look for it? Like, do you got expectation when it comes to, like, getting down with the get down? Like, like things got, like I said, like, niggas can't take, girls can't take my drawers off. So do niggas got, like, like, all right, bet, this got to be doing this. If it ain't doing this, then it ain't right. Like, my ass ain't yeah. clapping like, yeah, I Bullshit. do be feeling like that. I hate, I hate trash sex. Like, yeah. it's just why the fuck did I just do that? Like, yeah. it's just so trash. Like, I, I won't, I won't fuck you again. I'm no. not lying. But um, I just, I. I just need a good time, like, and yeah. show me you there for me, yeah. not just there for you. Yeah. I don't like that. Don't show me you just there for you. For sure. Like, we need it's to equal be equal opportunity and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be on and popping in there. <laughs> yeah, for, now we uh, what the heck? Who we had? We had Big Court on here, man. She dope and shit. You should fuck with her shit. But she was uh, she had some. Of course, she was like going from twelve to six in the morning. I'm like, goddamn, I was like, what the fuck? I gotta be mm-hmm. on. But she was talking about like breaking it down in segments. But you know, when, you know, when you young, you can do that shit. When yeah, you, take a little nap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, yes, you gotta get. get I'll be setting a timer on a nigga. Like, okay, you said yeah. twenty minutes. Oh, no, okay. No, no, no. Give me an hour. Nah. <laughs> twenty minutes. Set the timer on that ass. Bad. Now, uh. Not pa- give me an hour. <laughs> yeah, you, oh, yeah. Good, 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 strong hour and shit, dog. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, on, cause you know when you when you mid stroke, you like hey, I'm gonna kill this shit again. Yeah. And once it's done, you like man, fuck, I'm going to bed. I, I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> I'll come back. Now on porn star. You say you can keep the dick if the head ain't coming with you. Mm-hmm. That now we talk about this before you came and shit. Like as a must, when you when you fuck around with, with your chick, unless it's, unless it's a quickie, y'all both gotta go work. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? A quick little smash and dash and shit like that. But if it's something like if this, your chick like like y'all gotta motherfucking get down with the get down. Like it gotta be some motherfucking head yeah. movement and shit going on before y'all Definitely. just get right to fucking. So. That was, that was you, so you basically saying yeah, like... Yeah, I mean, you ain't talking about makeup was fucking up. Oh, she know I don't know about that pumpkin. Okay. <laughs> okay, and what you was saying? So will you, you, so if a nigga just, he just offering dick and shit, but he ain't trying to motherfucking mouth you up and shit, you like, nigga, I'm good. Yeah, I don't like that. I mean, <laughs> I, I did uh, mess with a couple people that didn't give head, but like, after, I feel like a hoe. Like, I don't feel like a woman. Like, yeah. I want to feel like a woman. <laughs> like, make me feel appreciated. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, I didn't... I wasn't fucking. It was like it was cool, like, but it's like mm, something was missing. Yeah, <laughs> so it made me feel like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> right, make me feel like a woman. No, but no, uh, I I can tell that you like you like hair a lot because I you mm-hmm. you reference hair a lot in your song. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. she she a head motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. Like, you need to use some head monsters. <laughs> Definitely. Hell Man, no. a lot of people be noticing that though. Like because, niggas talk about the same shit. But the, yeah, but you know, when I when I listen to music, I listen to everything. I listen mm. to everything. Like I say, I'm about to get you to cry. You know, he ain't talking about ass clapping and shit and all that uh, stuff. Like, <laughs> and then another one, you said, this was funny on Still the Man. He said, uh, ask him how he like his hoes. He said, super size. Oh, that's a good, that, oh, that's good. Tell the way I want extra fries. Mm-hmm. So, you you know, a lot of women, and I, when I get that bar, a lot of women, they be always worried about their weight. This, that, try to please a nigga and shit like that. But some niggas like a little. Shit, take me out to eat. You yeah. gonna see me eat, motherfucker. I'm not playing. I ain't come so, here to eat no. He all cute and shit. Like, <laughs> nah. <laughs> Cause, yeah, because a lot of Fuck. I know, like a lot of niggas, like they like a little extra little meat. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You know what I'm saying? I be knowing that too. Like, yeah, you just got like niggas don't care. Yeah. They don't. But see, but then, women be harder on themselves, and they exactly. don't have to be exactly. And then that's when women start looking at other women on social media, and be like, oh, I need to fix this or do this or get an yeah. ass lift or nah. whatever you call that shit. Get some, you know, what I'm saying belly fat yeah. movement to put in my ass and shit. Like, yeah, I don't like that. Like, I got a little booty. I ain't gonna lie, I got a little booty. Yeah, but outside of these pants, it's it's, it's enough. Trust yeah. me, <laughs> trust me, it's enough. See, Never got no complaints. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't know. I don't. That's why I, I don't follow a lot of people. And I don't. Cause mm-hmm. I don't want to get wrapped up in that. I know, yeah. I know, I look good. I know mm-hmm. I'm beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could probably work out. Mm-hmm. I probably will be working out soon. Mm-hmm. But I know I look good how I am. Like I'm not stressed about that. That's not everything to me. Yeah. I'm not about that. You risking your life every time you do that. No, like no offense to nobody that do that. Like y'all sure. be looking good. Yeah. Some of y'all. Yeah. Some some of us be looking crazy still though. Like, yeah. Sometimes maybe having that. Sometimes you should just left your shit alone. Yeah, cause sometimes you still have those fucking fat in your arms, but then you still like, that shit don't matter. Like, <laughs> Like, that, that should be equal They got shit. everything They got this off yeah. oh, Big ass arms I guess <laughs> Auntie yeah. arms With motherfucking 20 year old body Like we know what you did Like Man But I guess I mean I don't know But I mean, If on, that's man. what you want to do That's what you want to do But I just never felt pressured To do anything like that uh, I don't think I ever will like even when I like get the money to just be doing shit like that yeah. or like get the fame and then you know start yeah. seeing all these comments and sure. shit. She don't got no booty. <laughs> Her belly look big and shit. Yeah. Her boobs. All this. I'm I'm not gonna give a fuck. Yeah, no, you can't. Fuck y'all. You can't. The so fuck. Don't have us be on Instagram. Like, God I'm gonna damn. be on my Lizzo shit. The <laughs> fuck. I'm be showing y'all this shit. <laughs> I don't even care. Hell no. Nah. Now last one. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, talk. About about then we move on is uh, on on Doctor Evil. You say uh, no, you can't. Um, no, no, I'm about to say the wrong shit. Uh, I wish a nigga would look up when the tab come. So like, is that some <laughs> first day shit? Cause like when we in relationship, sometimes shit, it treat me, treat me, goddamn. Mm. Oh, you say never treat Not me. Not a slang. <laughs> <laughs> so, if I say I'm gonna treat you, I'm gonna treat. Now of course you. on the first date, like you yeah, know what yeah, that's like the first day let's, shit. Let's, like we still dating man, type but of shit. If like like the situation with you and Larry, um, like if y'all are together so long. <laughs> Like, at the while, y'all can treat each other. I can go back yeah, and forth. Yeah, definitely. You feel me? Let me keep my shit in my pocket. You go ahead and take care of it. Or vice yeah. versa and shit. Yeah. You know I don't... Saying? Okay, I'm going to be honest. I don't know if I ever did that. <laughs> but looking back, I've changed. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe will. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got to do that shit, <laughs> yeah. man. Yeah. But, in... but that's what I'm saying. We wasn't even going out that much and shit. Like, that's yeah. what was pissing me off. But Okay. Yeah, we gotta put that in the repertoire and shit. That's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I don't that's that's fine. That's the first day shit. Like don't first day, look at yeah, me first when the bill come, nigga. Yeah, like, they create take care of first day, but then after and, that and y'all ever seen that post where it'd be like, Are we about to have sex or something like that? And she'd be like, Yeah, and he's like, Okay, I'm gonna pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> but you gotta think man, that whole dating process is just a it's all about dates. Niggas don't even like dates no more. Yeah. That's why I don't. That's why I'm single now. Niggas yeah. don't even like dates. They wanna. They wanna chill. They want you to come over. Yeah, no, sure. I'm not yeah. coming over. You could be a murderer. <laughs> what am I coming over for? No, fast, fast, fast. Let's go on a date. You want to get to know each other. That's yeah. how you do it. You go no, on a fact, date. For sure. And I'm not no bitch that be like, oh, I need to go to, you know, the most expensive restaurant in the world. I love yeah. chilies. Hell yeah. See, I love them up. We just had some chilies the other day and shit, man. The motherfucker can't see be good Man, shit is good. And they got two for shit 25. Shit good. I love chilies. Appetizer, motherfucker. Stop playing. That's Applebee's. Good me- no, it's chili. Chili no, got two twenty five. Yeah, yeah, for sure. See who want to take me on a date. <laughs> yeah, we can get, we can split that motherfucking hot cookie with ice cream on top and shit. Make this shit romantic and cheap. Exactly. Like, <laughs> like shit, it's about getting to know each other for real. They got shit there I can eat. I'm fine with that. Yeah, you like fuck. We good. We good. We on mm-hmm. popping. Now, uh, you know what I'm saying. Like I said, beginning of the podcast, we got introduced because I posted a freestyle. You said you wanted to get on the show and shit. So it's about that goddamn time and shit. <laughs> man. 
<laughs> for that good shy style, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> shy style Sunday and shit or Tuesday. Yeah. So we got uh. You know what I'm saying? Pumpkin on the mic and shit. Cause she said, I can't say. I, yeah, I, I can be there. Yeah, pumpkin. Pumpkin. I got any other way. I'm gonna say that shit. Pumpkin. Punch yourself. Pumpkin. pumpkin. Cause you know what I'm saying. So we got the motherfucking producer behind the boards about to get ready for this good shot style Tuesday. That's the new shit and shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Ain't no pressure and shit. Ain't no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I feel all the pressure. Sell that bag, Birkin. These bitches mad, hurting. Get to the chicken, I'm driving to churches. Hop on that dick, get the swag surfing. White ash, I don't need no jerkins. Plugging Avon, meet him at the Perkins. Got the bread, got the head like a turban. Fuck him, then leave. I'm coming and going. Niggas is flies, they be annoying. Must be a star, how they looking and pointing. Thanks for the head, but I'm disappointed. He told me, girl, you the best one doing it. You think so, nigga, that make two of us. My bitch is bad, they don't know what to do with us. Wanna fuck for nothing, these niggas is humorous. Bitch, I'm go, can't stop my shine, ain't mad. I'm next, have to cut that line. At they neck, five feet, don't drown. Head out the window, need my money now. You like to travel? Go downtown. Real kings eat pussy, and I'm giving out crowns. If it ain't the shit, why you making them sounds? Bitch, I'm from the land, that's the calves and the browns. These bitches be fans, I'm colder than most. Niggas burnt out, get scraped like toast. Block all my niggas, and then I post this ass in the gram. Yo, man, front row. Bought some balloons, they know I'm gon' blow. He wanna slap you, just call me Joe. Call me a freak, can't call me no hoe. Send no. Like Keisha, yeah. give me some hair for Leisha. Got a little West Side chick, light skinned chick. Her name is Misha. Ay, ay. I be on the show for real. Pussy, yeah, you know I'm gonna kill. Don't take mm. my drawers off, bitch, cause I'm gonna pull out my dick. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you with it. God, don't take my drawers off, bitch. <laughs> Man, <you're sick. laughs> I'm dead. No. God, don't take my drawers off, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that shit hard, though. That yeah. shit hard. I fuck with it, dog. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shy style, motherfucking Tuesday and shit, man. You know what it is? Now, uh, with the music, <laughs> don't take my drawers off. Up. <laughs> <laughs> what's one thing you hate about doing this rap shit, though? I know you said you want to blow and shit, you want to get this shit, um, bro. What's one, what's, what's one thing you hate that you got to deal with with this shit? One thing that I dislike is that um, rap is not how it used to be. Like, I wish I would have came a little while ago, like, man, for when it? it actually mattered if you can rap, like, yourself. Hell like, yeah. you can write for yourself and yeah. shit. Like, it wasn't just, like, especially, like, with women, I feel like, oh, uh, if you cute and, like, whatever the fuck you want to rap, okay? Yeah. People, you know, they... I just don't like... It's just too much fake shit. Yeah, I, I want to I wanna bring real rap back, for real, for real. Yeah. Like, I feel like I could do that. And me and him was just talking, like, I could tell you got, like, some, you like some old school shit because you was going mm-hmm. off that one Biggie song on that um, on the tape you put out in 2019. Uh... Was it some going off your beat or some shit like Take that? Taking nigga beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The first song. Or, the, or it's a twenty nineteen. Taking nigga beat. That, oh yeah, that was the Tupac song. Yeah. Well, I think you talking about yeah, that Tupac yeah, song. Tupac yeah, Tupac song. Yeah. Had to be my bad. Yeah. But yeah, you was going off on that shit. So I mm-hmm. see, and you go off on a lot of shit. You nigga, you gotta listen to her shit. Uh, matter of fact, we plug in the video at the end, dog. That go yeah. PJ. She was mm-hmm. doing the uh, go DJ shit, Lil yeah. Wayne shit. So yeah, you be going in like I That's attention. what I'm saying. I'm ready. Real rap needs to come back. Like, yeah. if you can't rap, you can't rap. It's okay. <laughs> like, you can't rap, yeah. so it's okay. Like, you don't have to rap. No, like, sure. I want real rappers to come back. Like, I think people that's not able to rap, but they got a certain look. Which yeah. I mean, I'm not. I feel like I got to look myself. Like, I got the look. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like. Yeah. You just do something else. No, for sure. Yeah, a lot of niggas be wanting to just rap just because they niggas rap or they see it, it's cool and niggas popping off. So it be like, yeah. dog, fuck, I'm a rap. Like, but niggas, niggas ain't really fucking going in and working on any shit. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like. I don't like, like, I don't play with my talent. Like, this is something that's serious to me. Yeah. I don't be trying to put out no bullshit. I don't be trying to, like, just do anything. Like, I really take it serious. Like, I really write my shit. I mm-hmm. really you know, focus. I really try to do videos like that. For sure. Something different or whatever the fuck. Like, I just, I'm a fan of rap. Yeah. I'm a fan yeah. of hip hop. Was there, was there, was there time since you've been doing this music? You know what I'm saying? That you like, man, fuck, I'm done. Mm, no. And that been that time? No. I mean, I go through my highs and lows with the shit. Like, I'd be super focused at one point and then I'd be like, all right, I'm chilling for a minute. But, I don't see that happening no time soon. Yeah, like, man, fuck this shit. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hell no, hell no. Now, um, 
we always do this shit. You young, we just came, you know what I'm saying, with that, you know, that you young, I'm old as fuck. <laughs> but, <laughs> back when I was, just, uh, shit, when this shit came out, you probably was like five and shit, four. But make, <laughs> making the band. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I probably was like eight. Yeah. <laughs> so making a band came out, you had Diddy pick, you know what I'm saying, five niggas to be in the band. Mm-hmm. So hypothetically, if you had a band, you and four other people for this one album band, what, who who would be the four niggas you or females or producers you want to work with for this one album? You and four other people. Hold on, that's hard. That's a that's a lot to. <laughs> I know. Me and four other people. Yeah, y'all making this rap band, and then you We're gotta making be a rap band. Ain't gotta be all rappers. It could be singers, rappers, producers, women, men, whatever. Yeah, that's a question I needed beforehand. <laughs> that's the shit I need to write a little paper on. <laughs> but just off the top of the head, who who's some motherfuckers you want to work with? People that I want to work with. Yeah, that, that, um, I want to work with Young Thug. Okay, so you and Young Thug. <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to work with uh, fuck. I mean, right now I guess Lil Baby. Okay. Um, these are the people that's like popping. And I don't yes. see them like going nowhere. Hell yeah, you the baby. Mm-hmm. Um, producers. What's his name? DJ Mustard. Oh, DJ Mustard, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He gonna bring he gonna bring some good shit. I want some he hype beats me. and shit. That West Coast shit. Mm-hmm. Party music. Yeah. So last but not least, you probably you got to throw a female in there. I gotta throw a female in there. Um, I love my females. Mm-hmm, me too. Um, so I'm not gonna. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna say. I'm gonna say Missy on a producer. Missy, end. oh shit, yeah. yeah, she producing, she writing, she yeah. Yeah, harmonizing. Yeah. All right, good shit, good shit. So you got you got mustard, motherfucking uh Missy, you baby and little baby and thug. <laughs> That's some good shit. Cause you got, cause Thug could be singing hooks too. Man, you got Missy you know? motherfucker orchestrating that shit going on. <laughs> hey, Missy don't get her just due though. I wish she'd mm-hmm. do verses just so she could show she mm-hmm. she a killer dog. Cause she write music, she raps, you know. So she do it all yeah. shit dog. I fuck with Missy and shit. Hell yeah. So once we get to the end of the show, we start you know saying come up with a little random little shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, man, man, this is one last thing. When last time you cried? Shit, you, you know you tell me I was the last make, time I cried. Yeah, when last time you cried? Got a good cry. Nigga, I cry every other day. <laughs> <laughs> Like, what's, a, what's a movie that you can't watch because it's gonna movie. bring a tear down to your eye every time? Like with me, I can't watch motherfucking uh, goddamn um, Pursuit of Happiness. With Pursuit Will Smith. of Happiness. I was just talking about this with my friends. Yeah. Some movies that be making me cry. Yeah, drop tears. Yeah, it's definitely um. Okay, so I recently seen Cadillac Records again, and this mm-hmm. time it made me cry like crazy. <laughs> yeah. I was crying at Cadillac Records. Set it off. Why set it off? Was ain't when Cleo died? Yes, the oh, yeah. whole ending. Yeah, the yeah. whole ending. Just that you. The yeah, yeah. They could have got away. They was almost there. Cleo smoked that last she cigarette dead. and shit. She like, dead, damn. Man, yeah. yes, even the end where she think about her friends and she cutting yeah, her braids yeah. off. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah, like, yeah. Seriously. No, for, that's what she was looking really Like, she the too. only one that got away. Like, yeah, yeah. you start, you first start crying when um, T.T. die. Yeah. That's when See, the tears T-T start T-T coming. T.T. made me mad, though. Bro, she I just, need this money. Like, I need <laughs> that money. <laughs> like, dog. <no. laughs> I mean, she did. She was just scared. Yeah, she was. She yeah, had a little sure. baby and shit. She wasn't, y'all knew she wasn't cut like yeah, she that. Was no thug, yeah, she was But she was there. Right after with that. her homies. Yeah. yeah. Man, God, did I need that money? Yes, that's, that's the funny. funniest part. <laughs> so, while she ain't even go in there. Hell the yeah. Fuck? <laughs> Biblical Fox, like, man, fuck you. It's man, our money. right. She ain't shit. <laughs> and then Jay was like, that's the homie, man. We got to right, break for her real. off. She, she got, got a kid and everything. Right. Yep, yep. Now, uh, before we get to the last little shit, though, one thing I do want to ask you do niggas use rap to try to get on you? What you mean? Like, nigga, oh, she rap? Bet. Hey, let's do a song together. But yeah, they really that's why get I on. be charging. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> that's the main reason I be charging what I be charging. Like, because niggas do that. Like, or they just, they just yeah. want to talk. Like, yeah, nigga, that's... did you pay for this feature or not? Like, you, using that shit as a good opportunity to get yeah, on Yeah, that's dog. why I be charging it. Cut out all the bullshit. Yeah, so yeah, when yeah. the nigga say you want a feature, okay, I charge this much. <laughs> for you sure. Don't hear from him. Yeah, but all right, I see what he <laughs> want that shit. Right. <laughs> like, shit, no. that's why I just cut that shit out. I hate that so much. And then I, another thing I don't like, I don't Okay, I feel like whoever I'm gonna be with, do not follow me on Instagram right now or whatever. Yeah. Cause like niggas would be like, they take my music literal. I mean, it is literal, yeah. but not for everybody. Like yeah, I'm not sure. about to, like they be like, so you you really about that shit you be rapping about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, but not for you. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. I don't like that. Hell yeah, I gotta do it to that nigga. I take your drawing off, nigga. He gonna be like, 
Hold on, hold man, on. Man, niggas do not care about that. I don't think niggas care about that. They better, dog. They better. Hey, y'all better be arch y'all backs, dog. Man, how, why you got to arch your <laughs> Are you mean if you laying down? Yeah, because if you can take them drawers, you got to lift up. Like... <laughs> I guess. Okay, laying down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better, okay, yeah, yeah, better yeah, be a thug yeah. with that shit, nigga. Now, if y'all stand up, maybe she want to go ahead, you know what I'm yeah, saying, do her. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. Little okay, sloppy Joe down, action okay, shit, yeah. But if I'm laying down, down <laughs> nigga, you better not take my drawers out while I'm laying down. Okay, I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> I just thought about that shit now. For yeah, sure, for yeah. sure. Now, at the end, we do a shit versus. I give you two people or two things or two scenarios, whatever. You tell me who will win. Mm-hmm. For example, summer versus winter. Summertime gear versus wintertime gear. What you like? Um, summer. Summertime gear. Yeah. All right. In person game versus DM game. In person. In person. Sada versus Peasy. Oh, Sada. All right. Baby face versus payroll. Baby face. Right, I, I, he talking about what? Yeah. Y'all gotta oh, remember, I'm not from here, yeah. so I wasn't really oh, yeah, that payroll sure. shit. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. I know Dope he boys. a legend and shit. Like yeah. I wasn't really here Hell for yeah. that. On the phone or texting? Um. I don't know. I don't know. I need one of them. (laughs) (laughs) See me when you see me. Detroit rap versus Cleveland rap. (sighs) Okay. (laughs) Detroit has a lot of more popping artists right now. We're popping them off right now. Detroit rap for now. All right, all right. Old school music versus new. You already kind of said that. Old school. Yeah. Yeah. Tall versus short. What? Like tall Tall. guys versus short guys. Tall. Yeah, yeah, I'm tall them off. We all. All right, say smoking versus drinking. Drinking. All right, wings versus burgers. Um, burgers. I'm a pescatarian. Oh, you are? That yeah. means you ain't eat seafood, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I could, I so, can't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna say I could do it, but I can't do that. I did have some good ass cauliflower wings the other day from beat ups. Yeah, yeah, I never slapping. had that shit. Mm-hmm. All right, lo- <laughs> all right, lover versus player. Who? Which one are you? Which one am I? Yeah, you lover. I'm a lover. Versus- okay, okay. Um, um, no disrespect, you know what I'm saying, to people that watching and stuff, but uh, riding versus back shots. Um, <laughs> riding. Oh, yeah, good. Clean cut versus dreads. Huh. Fuck. <laughs> uh, clean cut. Clean cut, taper and shit, 360s and I shit. I guess. And they still could do, didn't they still do waves? Yeah. Like, <laughs> they could still do waves. Yeah. All right, now I'll give you. I like waves. Top three. I'll give you a category, give me your top three. Top three celebrity childhood crushes. So niggas you had crush on when you was a little kid and shit, like you know what I'm saying, Bow Wow and all that good okay, shit. Okay, um Chris Brown. Alright. Um Columbus Short. <laughs> um They be knocking niggas out and shit. I need to be mad as hell, alright. <laughs> That's why nigga ain't been in no movies. I need be I can't <laughs> even think of I don't that's your top two and shit. Columbus Short, yeah. Chris Brown. Yeah. Hey, you, you love a stump the yard. Stump the yard. <laughs> My brothers watch that shit all the Glue fucking time. Glue to the screen. Yeah, I yeah. don't watch that shit six times in a day. Give me your top three rappers. Oh, my God. You want to do all time or right now? Which one easier for you? Let's do all time. All right, bet. <sighs> fuck. Um, fuck. Biggie, mm-hmm. Lil' Kim, and Nicki Minaj. Okay, okay, okay. Solid, <laughs> solid, solid. Give me your top three foods. Pizza. You a good person. Uh, pasta, like Alfredo. Oh, yeah, you, you're a great person. And <laughs> mm, trying to think of some super cheesy shit because I love oh, cheese. Shit, I love cheese too, but you don't love me. Man, tell me about <laughs> it. Okay, pizza, pasta, and I'm going to just say, mm, I don't know, burgers, veggie burgers. Okay, top three movies. All this picking shit, I don't like that. I told you I'm indecisive. I'm just saying shit, really. But the first shit that come to my mind, I must that's love how, it. That's the best thing. Man. Yeah. Okay, top three movies. We're going to go with Set It Off. All right. We're going to go with... I love movies. Too much. Mm. I'm going to go with Bring It On, a little childhood movie that I loved. <laughs> Stop! Yeah, I went to movies. I went to movies to watch that shit. Man, you did. Uh, yeah, I was. I felt real stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I was high school. I was like, I was. I was eighth grade. I'm dead. Yeah, that's a good one. Right. Um, Gabrielle yeah, was looking good too. Oh, okay. My real favorite movie is Bad Boys. I don't know Bad how Boys. I forgot One or that. Two. 
I like okay, two, two is colder, yeah. but I love both of them. So we, we take and bring it on off. Okay, take that shit and off. And we're going to put Bad Boys 1, or we're going to put Bad Boys 2, and okay. then Bad Boys 1. Okay. We, we, uh, Bad so Boys uh, 3, did you see that? No, I got to see that shit still. Yeah, that's a long time ago. Yeah, my no. <laughs> <laughs> she looked at me like, ago. what, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> it was. Yeah, I, I just didn't accept the Fat Martin, man. He's all fat and that one. Man, like, he just looking like, like how the fuck you okay? It cop, was, man? it was a little it's like, <laughs> mm, okay, I guess. But it was some funny parts. Yeah. But then the movie I just feel like it did a little too much. Like it got a little too serious and shit. Like yeah. I'm like, I guess y'all trying to make sure it like All right. Last thing is your top three songs. Your favorite songs are by by you. Pumpkin. Mm, Greek freak. All right. I got this song called Premium. It's not out yet. Mm-hmm. And then I got another song called Work it out. It's not out yet. All right, bet, bet. Now, be on the lookout. The last thing we do before we end the show off, drunk moment or high moment? Give me a story when you were drunk, high, or both. Give you a story about what? Like, what happened? Yeah, well, a funny story when you were drunk or high or both. Okay, so at my listening party last year, mm. I was both. <laughs> I was definitely drunk and then like watching the videos the next day, I was like, yeah, I'm not posting these. What, like, you, what was you drinking? I was fried. What were you drinking? I don't know. Whatever. I was drinking 1800. So, oh my God. Oh, wait. Yeah. I think I was drinking 1800 or yeah. I can't think right now. No, I was drinking Avion. A- I was drinking yeah, Avion. That's so bad. Yeah. That word Jeezy had Avion. What's it? That's, shit, that's his, his drink. Now, when you when you say you fucked up and you didn't post the videos that you seen, what made you not want to post those videos? That I was you... fucked up and you could tell. What were you doing? I'm supposed falling? to be rapping. No, I'm like up uh, rapping my shit, but you could tell I'm just swaying a little too Man, much. You should say I'm just a little too loose. I'm like, yeah, this not cute. Shit. But the next day, it was funny as fuck. Cause okay, we was at this little private you know, place like, so they can do whatever in there. Yeah. So the next day I told my friend, I'm like, damn, did you see them white people with them balloons? Cause you yeah. know, people be like that. What's that called? A candle. Uh-huh. No, that when people be smoking out them cans, uh, whatever they be doing, she don't give me whip, it, whip it, Shit, whip it. I don't it. know. I ain't That's been, I been out so long. So I'm like, damn, <laughs> I gotta let that shit yes, up. whip it. Yeah. I'm like, damn, did you out. see them white people with them balloons? My friend, she was like, yeah, we did it too. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm like, huh? She like, yeah, you did it, and then you made us do it. I'm like, yeah. damn, y'all dumb as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I would have yeah. never did that yeah. in my sober mind. So you were drunk as hell, you was whipping it. Yes, <laughs> the, nigga, the nigga brought me a balloon for me. He was like, here. I'm like, okay, I, I guess. Look that up. I don't know but what after she hell. said it, I started to remember. I'm like, oh, I did do that. Yeah, I was whipping And them bitches was just down for whatever. Duh. I love that. So you, you <laughs> talked your homies into whipping it and shit? Man, not whipping it. <laughs> For real. Now, no, I appreciate you coming on the motherfucking show. Uh, I want you to tell everybody where they can follow you on social media and all that good stuff. Um, You can follow me on social media at OU Pumpkin, O H Y O U P U N P K I N N. Yeah, look me up on Apple Music, Spotify, Tidal, YouTube, all that stuff. Just Pumpkin with two N's. P U N P K I N N. So, you got some new shit that's about to come out pretty soon? Yeah, I'm trying to drop on April 1st. It just be a lot of shit going on. You know how that goes. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, do you want to leave people with with some motherfucking motivational words like, please don't do drugs or some shit like that? Please. (laughs) Don't. Wait, hold on. Let me think of some good shit. (laughs) I know some shit to end off with. Okay, if you don't learn nothing from me, ladies. Learn this. If he don't give you head, he don't love you. <laughs> he don't hey, love you. Hey, you already know. Fellas, if you ain't learned nothing from me, <laughs> don't let the motherfucking chicks take your drawers off, dog. And <laughs> hey, you on your back and you got yeah, arch that Yeah, don't be laying down doing that. Yeah, yeah, I had to think about that. Yeah, That's not don't, good. Don't lay down arching your back. Motherfucking Damn, at that point, I feel off. like I'm in control. Shit, I must be off of something. Yeah, yeah. Off that, off, off. That, off that whipping and shit. You, <laughs> you whip them drawers off. like. <laughs> This nigga back arch and shit look like the McDonald's and shit. For real. Niggas ain't gonna care. As long as they coming off. Hell yeah, man. Shout out to everybody. Episode 108, man. Voice of Detroit. Podcast podcast of the year. Producer of the year. You know what it is, Mm -hmm. man. Pumpkin. (laughs) Pumpkin. Pumpkin. (laughs) (laughs) All right, I'll let y'all, man. Peace.